Okay, um, we'll call the call meeting uh, to order here and uh, ask the clerk if she would take the roll. Ms. Dunn? Here. Mr. Stovall? Here. Dr. Na? Mr. Weber? Here. Just Dr. Na. Hi. We'll pause for a moment, give her a chance to settle in. I'm fine. All I have to do is scoot one thing down. I had that. I lost my shoe. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. I, I guess the, the record should reflect that Dr. and I has joined us. So, um, and uh, let us have, let us call her name on the roll, Mr. Stovall. Pardon? Give us one. You want to call the roll again? Or? Just Dr. Na. Dr. Na? Uh, here? We have quorum. Okay, great, great. Um, so we do have a quorum. And uh, hopefully everybody's had a chance to take a look at the consent calendar. Uh, do we have a motion on the consent calendar? So moved. Second. Uh, by Ms. Dunn, uh, second by Dr. Na. Uh, if the clerk would take the roll, please. Ms. Dunn? Yes. Mr. Stovall? Yes. Dr. Na? Yes. Mr. Weber? Yes. Motion passes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So we'll move then to the uh, hearing uh, portion of our uh, agenda and ask uh, all those who will be testifying to uh, please raise your right hand. Uh, do you solemnly swear or affirm under penalty of perjury that the testimony you should give before this board uh, shall be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Okay, record should reflect all responded affirmatively. So let's go then to uh, S2422S, short variance for Alan Bakersfield uh, refining. Yeah, oh yeah. Go ahead and if you'd uh, state your name and spell it for the record. Matthew Jalali, A-A-L-A-L-I. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you. Um, let's see, and so we will um, consider, Matthew, your uh, petition as your initial testimony and, uh, and go then to, uh, I think, Shannon, this is uh, yours. Staff report. Good morning. My name is Shannon Moore. I'm an air quality specialist here at the district. Before we begin, I need to draw your attention to some changes to the staff report. Um, when Alon reviewed this staff report with their consultant, they determined that the project would likely take a full 96 hours to complete, and they thought it would be prudent to request some additional time for possible contingencies. So on the top of page number two, under petitioner's request, um, the hours will be changed to 144 hours under excess emissions just below that there'll be 144 hours this will also affect the excess emissions the total excess emissions which will now be um, up to 19,011 pounds socks 19,011 um, again on page three under recommendations at the bottom the staff report or the decision order will reflect 144 hours. And the top of page four, item number four, will be changed to 19,011 pounds of socks as well. <clears throat> With that, um, let me go ahead and explain kind of the situation and what's going on here. Alon Bakersfield Refining is an idle petroleum refinery that, that is in the process of inspecting, repairing, and replacing equipment to convert to a renewable diesel production facility. The board recently approved a variance petition that was necessary for Alon to recommission a hydrogen generation unit. Today, today they are here regarding another critical component. When Alon begins operating, they will use hydrocracker unit 21 to produce the renewable diesel. Hydrocracking is a catalytic hydrogen, hydrogenation, hydrogenation 
excuse me, process in which high molecular weight feedstocks like seed oils are broken down and then hydrogenated into lower molecular weight products like diesel. Lawn has installed three new reactors into Hydrocracker Unit 21. To prepare the reactors for use, they must first go through an activation process called pre-sulfiding. Dimethyl disulfide is introduced into the reactors with a hydrogen gas stream to form, to form hydrogen sulfide gas, which is recirculated across the catalyst to coat it. Without pre-sulfiding, the catalyst will not match design specifications for the production of renewable diesel. During pre-sulfiding, a slipstream of the gas circulating around the reactors is likely to be vented to the flare gas system. The pre-sulfiding gas is highly concentrated, and when it is combusted in the flares, Elan expects to exceed the SOX emissions limits. Therefore, Elan has requested a short variance from requirements of the applicable district rules. In addition to the applicable conditions of the subject permits, the requested short variance would be effective for a non-consecutive 144-hour period to occur sometime between July 11th, 2024 and, Oct and October 8th, 2024 inclusive. If granted, the variance would allow Elan to, con to exceed the SOX emissions limit of the flare gas system during the pre-sulfiding process. <clears throat> Elan has provided detailed emissions calculations with their petition. They've calculated that excess emissions for a full 144 hour variance period would be up to 19,011 pounds of SOX. The district has reviewed the calculations and determined they are appropriate. Should a lawn exceed the 2,000 pounds of emissions, they will be subject to a mitigation of fee of $3.75 per pound in addition to the petition fee for the excess emissions. The district believes the required findings as set forth in the California Health and Safety Code can be made and recommends that a lawn Bakersfield refining be granted the short variance with the conditions on pages three and four. And that can, concludes the district's presentation. <clears throat> Okay, thank you, Shannon. Uh, any questions for Shannon? Okay. Let's go then to uh, Matthew. Uh, anything you'd like to add? No, this was right. I have a question, Matthew. Matthew, Just could you to... put uh, your mic on, please? All right. It is on. Oh, it is on, yeah. yeah. I would turn the other one on too in case there's something wrong with that one. Just a, a question for you, Matthew. I, I think we all know this, but um, just for the record, uh, if um, when the when the project comes to fruition and it's in operation, how many people will that em employ? And the we annual. Can't... I'm sorry, Mr. Stovall, we cannot hear him. Um, can you maybe bend your microphone back? Yeah. Hmm. Thank you so much. Give me one second and I'll let you know what that's Technical difficulties. I guess we yeah, can bend. It's our new system, so we might be working things out, but I appreciate it. Give me one second and I'll turn you on. Can you go ahead and check that podium? Just check, check. Check. Much better. Thank you. Okay. Good. If you can just repeat your answer. Yes, there will be uh, 125 uh, local employees from in the Bakersfield area. Total, we're looking at 200 between the corporate and Bakersfield office. Yeah. Any estimate of the actual annual revenue that would uh, happen? We are estimating that to be about uh, $150 million per year. Okay. And I think probably if if you couldn't do this preparation work, then you couldn't proceed with the project. Exactly. Well. That would jeopardize the startup of the process. Any other questions? No. Okay. Thanks. Uh, Shannon, anything you'd like to add? Or... Oh, that's it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we'll see then see if there's any public comments. Uh, I'm not seeing any in Bakersfield. No public comments in Fresno and seeing none online. Okay. So we'll uh, go ahead and then close the uh, testimony on this and see if we uh, have a motion. No motion. Okay. Mr. Weber. All right. I move to approve Alon's 
Bakerfield Refineries petition for a short variance set forth in docket number S-24-22 S with the required six findings of the health and safety code adopted by reference as set forth in the staff report. The variance shall be for a period, uh, for a non-consecutive period of 144 hours to occur sometime between July 11th, 2024 and October 8th, 2024 inclusive. Um, the short variance would allow a lawn to exceed the SOX emissions uh, of the flare glass system during uh, pre sulfide of the new reactors of hydrocracker unit 21 um, and shall be subject to the conditions on pages three and four of the staff report. Thank you, Corey. So um, motion by Corey to have second. Seconded. Second by Ms. Dunn. Uh, if a clerk would take the roll, please. Ms. Dunn? Yes. Mr. Stovall? Yes. Dr. Na? Yes. Mr. Weber? Yes. Motion passes. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Matthew. Very thank you. Granted. Okay, um, with that, let's go then to the uh, uh, public comment uh, portion of our agenda. So I'll read the uh, required uh, statement. This time is made available for comments from the public on matters within the board's jurisdiction that are not on the agenda. It is requested that no comments be made during this period on items on the agenda. The public may make comments after each board agenda item during the time allowed for public comment. Additionally, state law prohibits the hearing board from acting on matters that are not on this agenda. And not seeing anything here in Bakersfield. No, no public comments in Fresno and none online. Okay, great. Uh, hearing member comments? Hearing board member. Okay, that's a great job as always. Uh, uh, got a little technical difficulties, but we'll get those sorted out. They're, they're, okay. they're not loud enough for me, uh, but maybe it's my hearing. Oh. I'll let them know. Yeah, we'll do some testing. Yeah, you? I had a strain to hear that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, sounds good. But good job, all in all. Uh, no new business, I trust. Um, uh, so, um, with that, then uh, our um, next meeting is August 14, yeah. 2024. And uh, with that, uh, we will uh, adjourn the hearing. Thank you. Thank you, Thank guys. You.